Hi, it's Casey Berard from CaseyBerard.com and I'm about to start a series called Mindful Mondays. So I'm going to be presenting to you some back to basics books that will help you stop suffering and love your life because that's what it's all about folks is enjoying your life, connecting you with you. So when I can't get in to see my Reiki master, when I can't get in to see my acupuncturist, if I just can't get into anyone, I have a stack of books and I'm looking over, I have it, them all laid out on the ground over here for my video prep that I go to. And some of them are dog eared and highlighted and underlined. And they're just my go-tos. And every time I go back to them, I read something new and something different in them. Okay. So I want to start with Mm, probably one of my favorite ones and it was so hard as I was going and picking I might actually have to do a couple of different series but one of my go-to's is David Richo okay for mindfulness to bring me back to my own three of them currently oh and he there's he has at least eight or nine I really want to get his shadow dance book um, how to be an adult. This is a handbook. It's a summary. Really, this, sh this is super thin, but it may as well be 800 pages long because every page is so densely packed with wisdom. How to be an adult in relationships is a book that I've been going to for about eight years. I think I'm just only in about, about grade three. <laughs> I started in kindergarten when I started reading this book and I'm working my way up in it to get better at the principles and the guidelines of what it is like to be a grown up, right? Not to be like a kindergartner on the playground, but being able to stand in my own power and speak my truth and love other people compassionately. That's what I love about his stuff. Uh, and this is actually the first book. I was walking through the self-help section, I think, looking for how to be an adult. And I came across this one, the five things we cannot change and the happiness we find by embracing them. I love that. And the happiness we find by embracing them. Because you know what, folks? These are um, challenging things. I'm going to give you... It's on the back of his cover, so I'm not, like, copywriting anything. Number one is everything changes and ends, which he draws from Buddhism and Christianity and Catholicism and Judaism and a, a, a whole... He is so well-read and versed in spirituality. So that's number one. Things do not always go according to plan. I tell you, when I read that on paper and my life was falling apart, it was like, oh, phew, I'm not the only one. Number three, life is not always fair. And I got to tell you, my eight-year-old son, he's eight right now, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. And I always think back to this and, and life isn't always fair. And, and you know, I think I'm offering some wisdom as I share with him that that's not always going to be the case, that it's fair and that if we just accept that and we learn from it and we move on, it's good. So he, and of course he has a whole chapter. If you could see, this is highlighted and I've dog-eared oodles of the pages. And each time I go back, I want to highlight other things. Uh, number four is pain is a part of life. Ah, so true. And number five, people are not loving and loyal all the time. And what's awesome is he goes through a chapter on each of these things, but then he also says, here's the brilliance, like here's how that is lovely. And here's how it brings us closer to loving kindness and compassion and joy. And he, it, I would say he's like a personal trainer for a spiritual junkie or, you know, the way a, a if you were running a marathon, you would go through and you would train week to week. He's someone who you can train week to week with, and he's not going to let you down. He's going to have the next answer, the next bit of wisdom, the next thing that will bring you to the next section. So, um, the David Richo is amazing. Um, oh, I mean, I could go on and on. I could do a whole like course on just his books. He has charts on how to deal with conflict, how to be a grown up, how to discern there's about 14 questions about your relationship to see if it's a good relationship, if you should stay in it or you should end it. All just jewels. These books are chocked full of jewels. So as you can see, I'm super enthusiastic about David Richo. Uh, all my clients who've either gone willingly to the bookstore or hesitantly to the bookstore always come back to me with their book dog tagged to ask questions. 
And so I'm going to leave that with you. If you actually have questions about him, give me a call, send me an email. I'd love to talk about him and his ideas because they are so nourishing, so exciting, and so helpful. So that's David Richo. And if you like this video uh, or want to know more about the books that I love or meditations and things like that that help you spiritually move forward in your life, then like this video or come and connect with me on my website, caseyberard.com.